As it turned out, our arrival to Tiragas could not be more timely. And you are watching Cyber Neuro Druid playing After the Storm, Scenario 5, Bay of Tiragas. I hope this one is a little bit more exciting than the last one because that last one was basically just kill a bunch of drones. Yeah, nice design, but uh, nothing to write home about. Uh, I guess we need some scenarios to level up units. And the shit will hit the fan soon, maybe even now. You filthy, soft-skinned beasts! This is your last opportunity to return our swamps! We are not planning to retreat to the forests of the pointy-eared demons! We care nothing for your stupid conflicts on the eastern borders. You trespassed our frontiers and broke our treaty. And now, you are from us the very lands you took by force, after raiding our southern garrison no less. If you believe we will exceed now... To the dark gods with you and your treaty, the words of an orc are no more meaningful than his fetid breath. Maybe you'll admit your defeat once we have raised every single one of your precious buildings to the ground. Go ahead, Rishix. Teach them a lesson. We'll make these puny death dwellers rue the day they were born. That city to the northwest, is it the port of Tiragas? Yes. It wasn't so well fortified during my time. So many things have changed since then. Is that smoke I... Wait, I hear steps. Hello, strangers. Are you loyal to the Grand Council? Uh, yes, we are. Those vile Saurians held the port of Tyrigaz under siege, leaving me unable to reach the city to deliver some important news to our lord. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your help would be very appreciated. I need to get to the city keep. But the journey across isn't safe while those vermin roam about our lands. The enemies of our friends are our enemies. We can help you. I am curious about their motives. Don't you think your trust in the orcs could be misplaced? We must stop and repel those Saurians before they take over Tirigas or the northern town that provides resources to the port. Okay, job is defeat both enemy leaders. I will lose if Galas dies, I'll lose if Alinea dies, I'll lose if Malkeshar dies, I'll lose if Vuruk or the ally leader dies, and I'll also die if the port of Tirigaz or the town of Arthol are captured by the enemy. So let's see. Um, Arthol is up here, that's where the, the uh, this crazy fountain thing is. Very nice with like light around it and uh, Tiragaz itself is this big city thing over here probably shouldn't need to worry about that with uh, level 3 orcish units knocking around but who knows some shipwrecks around the place lots of saurians around the place so I guess The best strategy is to try and get rid of the green leader first, because the green leader is the one who's the only one who's really likely to push north and capture those things. And the purple leader is going to be more of a challenge. Now, because these are Saurians, um, they do cold damage, they do pierce damage a lot of the time, and a little bit of impact when when you get the, the soothsayers. And uh, that line of, of units, also including the uh, Oracle, um, but ultimately not very much. And pierce damage, that means that uh, the unit I ought to be recruiting is skeletons for this. So let's get started. Only got 20 turns, interestingly. I have to do this quick. I was tempting to just run straight in with the linear.
And Markeshar can definitely run in because uh, he's under. He's not threatened at all by any of these units. Alright, Skeleton Archer time. I'm going to get one bat so that I can go north and uh, maybe capture some of these villages. It said that the enemy can't have them, but didn't say anything about me. And of course I'll want to level some units up as well, so... Start with... Wouldn't it be good to have a Bane Bow? Shadows might not be bad. The uh, the Saurians can skirmish, so it'd be nice if I could too. But I'll have you, the uh, unnamed Revenant with the Obsidian Battle Axe. Gonna leave my Dark Sorcerers and Sorceresses at home this time, just because they're a bit weaker against this kind of enemy. Once again, got loads of money, probably more than I need. And Vuruk is over here. Might have to figure out a better accent for him if we keep playing this campaign. And I think that is enough to get started. So this is another campaign where we get to watch our allies have fun, fun, fun. I mean, I quite like seeing the computer beating itself up, but uh, maybe it's not to everyone's face. Ah, oh, very good. But now it's the green player's turn, and he's recruiting mud crawlers as well. What is it that you need to report to the Lord of Tiragaz? Hmm, I fear it is nothing I'm allowed to share with anyone but Lord Tanvatar and his trusted commanders. At least not at this time. Fair enough. Not fair, not fair at all. Okay, you get the guy on the building, because he's going to be the hardest to dislodge. Beautiful. Now, Linear, you can't quite reach that, so... This is one of those scenarios where I don't really want to over-recruit. I can always recruit more once this first leader is dealt with, so maybe I'll go play it that way. Since I've got, since there's not huge amounts of forest, well actually there is, it's further south there is. Um, we'll see, okay, well let's see whether this force plus the, um, plus the blue leader's units are able to fend off Rishik's 
Maybe take another few. I'll have a ghost or two. Maybe if I've got any recallable ghosts on low experience. Um, they're on high experience. I want some expendable ones. Anyone else to recall? I am going to recall Sasea the Fire Fairy. And then everyone just power. Uh, we'll see whether two castles of units is enough to defeat Rishix. Good stuff. Yeah, kill the level 2 Saurians, because the level 2 Saurians are distinctly the nastiest. It's daytime, so everyone here sucks. No one is guarding a linear. I hope Alinea is not going to get too badly beaten up this turn. I kind of feel like she can't be the easiest target, and the AI does like to go for the easiest target. Like this guy. Oh, come on. I believe that guy's still alive. Okay, that was pretty good. Well, purple player certainly recruiting hard. Come in aid of your kin, friends from the deep sea. Oh yes, this is why this scenario is hard. <laughs> they have the support of some wild creatures from the ocean. Nothing we cannot handle. These villages belong to the Lord of Tiragaz. We must protect them, not capture them. Well, yeah, I mean... Okay, so I can't take them. Okay, that's interesting. Is there a village loss objective? No, there isn't. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, now these units are arrayed in such a way that I cannot yet punch through and get the leader, which is what I would like to be able to do. So I'll send Malkeshar up here. And Vuruk can have a couple of crossbow shots. Good. You can step back a bit and Galas can get kill. Oh. Actually, you step forward and uh, take out this auger as well if you can. Oh. Alright, I can kill them almost as fast as you can recruit them. Rishix. And now I'll move in my regular, everyday, normal, undead. Um, okay, gonna send these two... You, you go across here, you go across here, you definitely go across here as well. And you, 
Uh, you two may be... Is it worth staying south, or should I just push on with you as well? No, I'll just push. No point doing things in half measures. Very gradually, Blue's troops are starting to arrive. going to say up until then they weren't even bothering to attack me they were just going for the two remaining orc units well, hopefully the blue leader can deal with the bats coming his way What about you guys? What is that thing? There's two cuttlefish there, I know what they do. Um, that is a sea serpent, uh, level 3. It's not very powerful, but it's pretty hench. Alright, a lot of enemies around. Good start for my new Magical Obsidian Battle Axe dude. <laughs> uh, that's a wrap. Gotta keep Vurok alive. To have a level 3 orcish archer unit would be kind of nice, actually. Ah, excellent. And now I've got a path through so that both Alinea and Malkashar can get the leader. Let's see if I can dish out a bit more beatdown. Well, actually, hmm, some of these units are going to need to form a defensive line against the units coming from the south. Good, good. Come on now, Alinea, one hit. Damn you, Dark Dwellers! <laughs> Alright, we've got Mud Crawlers, we've got this guy who's quite high level. If he can get a kill, he'll level up. Uh, we've got another Augur, and we've got Fikili Fl. Likili, the skirmisher. And we've got bats, of course. And that was rubbish, Galas. What were you been? Have you been drinking last night?
Where did all these damned creatures come from? You might well ask. Rubbish. Right, I'm going to park you there. Okay, all's well so far. Not that the blue leader has very many powerful units. There are a couple of nasty guards up there. I mean, it's a complete mystery why you didn't get the kill with that guy, because that guy would have leveled up if you done so. Okay, green will get mopped up this turn, and I can push south against the purples. Didn't take long. Uh, we'll see what the black enemy does. There's so many of these guys. Okay, who do I need to be careful of? You can't get in combat with Malkeshar or... Okay, you can you can get into combat with Alinea. Not that I can reach. Well, you're the person for the job, aren't you? Evidently not. for this? Or do I want to save that for a rainy day? Well, what I can do is this. And then Galas can take care of this guy. There we go. And then you... Now you. Oh, lovely. Eat the fellow bat. Eat. I'm tempted to just bring Alinea back rather than trying to fight this further. No, because then the blue units... Well, but the, but the blue units are hopeless. You can't reach anyone. So we're safe. These bats... Yeah, I do have to be a bit careful. Okay, Alinea, you go back to this base. Oh. 
The bats can get around there, so I would like to be able to guard you. I can do that with this skeleton. And then with one ghost. Really, you're hopeless against against ghosts, but nothing down here can hurt you very much either. And what I meant to say was hopeless against mud crawlers. The, the warrior and this one are going to be fairly useless and I probably will have to recruit a little bit more if only to deal with these cuttlefish. I need something that can range them and what's their resistances like? Okay, Pierce is good against them so Skeleton Archers is the way to go. Maybe I'll get, bring back another, another bone shooter or two. Those guys are so weak, it's pathetic. And you, okay, you're just going to stand in front and form a living shield for my undead units. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, it doesn't look like the town of Arthol is going to be captured anytime soon. business going one-on-one -on -one with a skeleton and you two well you've just put yourself in range of all of the archers of the blue player so I'm don't I don't need to look after you These guys come close to the shore. This is turning out to be much harder than we expected. Oh, okay, so a bunch of brown water serpents have been summoned. Got to be a little bit careful of these cuttlefish and of this sea serpent. All right, no point doing cold damage to you. Blade and impact aren't great, but again, Pierce is good. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is recruit a castle full of skeleton archers here. Wave. 
don't think I can kill you in one turn. So I shouldn't really... Well, that, is, that is not a great position. These guys can do quite a lot of damage to Malkeshar if they're left unchecked. So it's time... Oh! Okay, well that means you're probably dead. Unfortunately, the... Yeah, it's... it's these kind of un unlucky moments are particularly impactful when you're fighting against people with uh, swarm attacks. Alright, well you can, you know, I don't want you to be on the front line anyway, so you can stay back and shoot this back. And then the blue player can deal with the other one, I hope. Oh, <laughs> I'm not confident, but... Uh... Actually, do I want you to take out the bats? Yeah, probably. None of you can get around. Good for you. Dash more experience. A dollop, perhaps. Get some health. You get a little bit. Uh, no, you stay where you are. And you can break ranks, run forward, and uh, attack this guy. Very tempting to snipe him with a ghost. Alright, the linear getting close to a level. These goals these ghosts need to come down and plug the hole in my line. Crawlers back here. You. Do these shipwrecks do anything? No. And then finally, Gallas. I will get um, one Dark Sorcerer now, I think. It's a bit of a problem now that, that I can't... There's something of a problem that I am not... <sighs> oh, I just forgot what I was going to say completely. Something is a problem, anyway. Uh, let's just have one Dark Adept, see what happens with him. Short story, he gets backstabbed by Saurian Skirmishes and dies. You heard it here first. Galas can go and get his health back. Okay, and you are now dead, dead, dead.
unless you can kill three units, in which case you'll level up. But I severely doubt you'll get that chance. Oh. Yeah, down you go. Interesting. Lost a gap in my lines, have you? And what? Well, I guess we wait for all of these purple units to move into place, and then we can ask what the black player is going to do. And the brown player, are they going to just stay where they are? I don't like these smaller serpents, they can poison you. Uh, Okay, this guy must be dead. Yeah. What? And the brown serpents are coming as well. Which means keep the living units out of sight. Okay, um, you've set up the kill very nicely for someone else. Mm. Not you, you can't get into the relevant spot. Um, <laughs> tempting to feed it to the Dark Adept. Yeah, why not? No! You'll suffer for this atrocity! Hmm. <clears throat> no, I won't. You go and get some healing if you can. I need to kill this guy so that that is possible. Uh, good old reliable Burke. And then I can send you in against the cuttlefish. Ooh, poison damage. I'm so scared. Such a big man. Want to kill this guy? not level and is now somewhat open to attack. Let's see if my revenant can do any better. Yep! One hit is all it takes. Oh cool. Alright. So I don't have much in the way of a defensive line here. Uh, I don't want to bring my fire fairy around. So I guess I'm just going to have to make the most of this. Ah, oh, nice work. Okay, now you have to survive. So I can do this. This is actually on the shore, this, this fish, so it's got a low defense. There's a bat. It's tempting to go in with a fire fairy against the bat, but insofar as none of the 
then my enemy can reach it. Sorry, none of my ally can reach it. I think the problem has been diagnosed by Dr. Cyber Neuro Druid as talking and gaming at the same time. I just always say the opposite of what I actually mean. Get this house back. And you can... Shoot this guy. Gotta get ready for the onslaught of mud crawlers, and that means getting some more skeletons that aren't archers. Running short of money, interestingly. This is a tricky scenario for, for gold balance if you can't pinch your allies' vi villagers. Hopefully, I mean, the enemy, I was hoping the enemy would get this one so I could get it back, but no such luck. You're going to go in there, aren't you, and get that Dark Adept. I bet that's what you're going to do. Alright, Galas maximally embarrasses himself against this Skirmisher. Doesn't get a single hit and takes all four in return on 60% defense. Okay, let's hope that my blue allies step up to the plate. Than my mighty, mighty blue allies. And you. Oh, yeah, I've got you as well. Surely exploring these shipwrecks must give me something. Doesn't look like it. I'll try it. Oh, nice work, my little dude. Until your death. Okay. Didn't expect that. Or that. Interesting. Down goes the bat, and you should hopefully follow soon after. Yeah, got there in the end. Now, Linia's all the way over here, needing only one level to put her on an advance. But I need to kill this cuttlefish, which is now in a castle. And Galas is looking a bit beaten up.
How much fire resistance have you got? Uh, no one's bothered to give you resistances of any interesting nature. Six times three. Seven times five. Okay, three hits ought to do it. There we go. And now we nearly have a leveled up unit. Are you going to come out and fight? No, you're going to stay and heal. Are you going to come out and fight? Doesn't seem wise, you have to survive. Well, maybe, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Alinia once again fails to get the kill and is looking quite wounded so I should bring in someone else to help out Purple here is a very, very lucky boy. I'll leave some space for Blue's troops to get through. Am I going to recruit anything else this turn? I'm hemorrhaging gold like nobody's business. Uh, I think I'd better not. But I'm going to put you there nevertheless so that you block the uh, experienced skeleton. And you there. And then I think we have a sound strategic plan. You go get the... Yeah, no, this isn't doing anything for me. Maybe this one out here will. And then I'm going to give up after that, I think. Have I checked this one? This one, this one. They're very pretty. I mean, I guess this is a ship or a boat, and this is a uh, this is actually a wreck. Maybe they behave differently. We'll find out, or or maybe not. Die, mud creatures! Fills in the hole in my line there. Very good. And these little archers are quite good with fire damage against mud crawlers. Unfortunately, what mud crawlers are also good against is skeletons. Wow. Yeah, that's more normal. Still two of those uh, water serpent things out there. Two pieces of gold? 
Damn, this must be a joke. <laughs> Pretty good joke as well. Okay. Got two pieces of gold. It looks like I can grab this one without with impunity. Only a bat can challenge me there. Can get Malkeshar in here. Can also get you in down here. Shame you're only level zero, or you would cause my fire fairy to level. Okay, you're on 24 health, and that should mean that you come around here and attack the Water Serpent. Should mean that Alinea can take you out. There we go. Alright. I can do an extra, I can get more ensnare damage, and one more strike. That's a very powerful ability, so I'll have that. Shielding would be handy too. At the moment she's quite weak to Arcane. But I'm going to go for the focus for now. Alright. Now linear levels up. The mighty obsidian battle axe is used to slay mud crawlers these days. So many mud crawlers. I probably ought to be more scared of the level zero mud crawlers. I'm less scared of the sea serpent, but that's just my way. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. I haven't been all that smart in placing my units here. These two are now stuck. Uh, they can't reach an enemy. Vurok can, but then he'd be on the front lines. I'm not too emotionally invested in the survival of all these skeletons. And I've certainly got enough of them now.
So Gallus, you move up to the house. You move in. You move in. And I'll let the blue units take the brunt of some attacks. I am going to keep exploring the uh, the rest of the shipwrecks now. I kind of feel like that two gold pieces has given me the taste for it. I could go to this one very easily. Oh, it's only mud crawlers. And there's a bunch of defensive units too. They are level three Saurian flankers. How? 20 turns? I'm glad I've got a lot of gold. Bloody hell, what is without it? And it's one thing pushing against these guys, but Saurian flankers are not a joke. And I have to have a dead straight line of skeletons. was it? Oh, you're a brave one going all the way through the water. Wah, wah. Yeah, that's what happens when they hit, so that's pretty good. Now, I wouldn't have chosen Malkay to get that one, but uh, there it is. Okay, what about this shipwreck here? This is probably a one-way trip. Bah! Only 25 pieces of gold. Better than nothing, I guess. Yep, now you run away. No more brown, no more black. Um, oh god, I sound like a racist. <clears throat> Interesting that you're better in the water than you are on land. And now, ta-da! Can make you a forest spirit. Oh, I love these units so much. Again, time to push forward carefully. Don't want to waste my skeletons. Good. This is so crap. I get some odd crawlers. Okay, right, now I have to go around the other side and deal with this. Let's bring out the big guns. Oh, 
Okay, I've aggroed one of the Saurian flankers, but it can only attack Elenia at the moment. Yep, the uh, experience keeps gradually climbing. There you go. How good are mud crawlers when they're in there? Okay. <laughs> okay, I've actually aggroed. This one's fast, so I've aggroed two of them. through this immense pile of poop. Literally these guys could just be the poo emoji. Okay, well I think you're a goner, but never mind. Like I say, once again I'm in a situation where I need losses in order to stave off my gold income becoming hopelessly awful. Good thing I'm scavenging for pearls at the bottom of the ocean or whatever it is that I'm doing. So the ones left to visit are this one and this one. And this one. Three. Can you... oh yeah, okay. So I've actually, I should have aggroed three whole flankers. Almost four. That's good, because I won't have much else to fight next turn. So I've now got four flankers, two more back here. Good news is I'm on time, I'm on track to win this campaign relatively quickly. Ah, shame you're a bit slow. They're all quite slow. Now that you've become a Deathblade, well, you're not very good, not against people in... So yeah, Saurians in the Swamp are actually tough as nails, aren't they? Okay, I'll have to try a different strategy. Don't, don't want to do that. Um, not, not straight out, anyway. Try and slow you with... Uh, with Galas. Oh, no cigar.
Oh, zero hits out of five. And hopefully the one last person who's in, in position to attack this stupid flanker. Yeah. Good. Whew. All right. Crisis averted. But I did use an inordinate number of my powerful units to do that. Can you... Yeah, you can just about reach this guy. Not a great effect. Interesting, you can go there. Um, unfortunately, these uh, flankers are cramping my style quite a lot. Twenty health. Ah, there we go. Now let's get a nice buffer between the remaining ones and my revenants. You know, not worried about the revenant per se, but uh, there are scary people around. Get a full 360 surround on this guy to keep him alive, and that's not going to happen. What I can do though is this. Yoink! You just perch there. And you just perch there. And you just perch here. And then I think we're in a good place. I'm going to turn off village. That's more like it. I can see where my units are now. Blue, can you help me at all? Oh, you can help me a bit. Yeah, that's 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 cool. All right, down goes that. I love how they kind of disintegrate into a puddle of person. Alright, that's a lot of effort to go to, to kill one level 1 unit belonging to a useless computer ally, but there you go. Alright, last wreck, the only one I haven't explored yet. Come on, come on! 170 gold! It seems it was a trading ship! That's more like it, and I don't think I did explore this one, so that's where I'll go next. Good.
Okay, another Dark Sorceress. Handy to have options on those. You can reach toward this. You can go there. Two more mud crawlers. Okay, this guy's getting desperate. Okay, and we're well on our way towards the next level with this revenant. I can aggro the next flanker by putting someone within his line. I like that. Um, the mud crawlers can't reach. You come down here, stand in front of Galas. You can come down here as well. You also need healing. You also need healing. You also need healing. You could do with healing, but hey. Wanna avoid these two these squares. You need healing, but nothing much I can do about that because you're not close enough. Just run you out here. Where do you want to go now? You're kind of out of the picture now, really, aren't you? Oh well. Okay, well that's scuppered my plan with lowering out the flanker, but maybe it won't go into such a bad position. Anyway, I've got Mal around. Interesting, the leader is out. Okay, that, that allows me to uh, cut short this scenario quite substantially. Well, well, 50 pieces of gold can be put to good use. Okay, and yes, Malkishar can get in there, as can Alinea, as can Galas, so it's really just a matter of trying to get a bit more experience, milk a bit more experience out of this scenario before the end of the level. Nice, and an instant 24 experience for Mr. G.
Hmm. Alright, that hurt quite a lot. But this should be the end of the scenario. If I've read the objectives correctly, yes, defeat both enemy leaders. Alright, in that case, I'll just try and get some more experience. Treacherous ones cannot win. <laughs> yes, we did it. <clears throat> this is an important battle you've helped us win, travelers. The city of Tiragat shall be eternally thankful for your assistance. Whatever this guy's voice is supposed to be. It is our duty to assist our allies in these times. However, I believe this soldier has something to tell you. Vora, brother, you made it. Did you discover anything new? Ha, huh, indeed. I need to talk with you about it later. But now I must report to the chieftains. <clears throat> I see you helped Vorok return home safe and sound. Well done. So... What can we do for you to repay our debt? Uh, we are currently looking for transportation services. We must sail the open ocean to find a certain island. I mean no offence, but only fools would dare sail the open ocean. Nobody has ventured into farther waters and returned in one piece, ever. Nobody knows exactly what kind of creatures inhabit the vast sea. Nobody knows for certain what lies beyond the horizon, but it surely can't be good, you see? Why would anyone want to travel so far into unknown waters, when there are plenty of safer, unexplored lands awaiting back whence you came? We have a mission to complete, but much like Varax, it is not something we should discuss with... We know the location of a certain isle, where some people who once lived on the great continent went to. We need to gather some information from them as part of a mission for the Grand Council. Ah, uh ha. -huh. The Grand Council? Why didn't you say so in the first place? We'll do anything we can to help you in your mission. It'll be difficult to gather an appropriate crew for you, but at least I can give you one of our fastest transport vessels. And there we've got 217 bonus gold. Good thing we found that shipwreck, otherwise that would have been pretty much Zippo. Okay, I think that was a good scenario. Um, I've over-recruited in terms of skeletons. Look at all these pointless low-level skeletons floating around the map. I could have completely done without recruiting a castle full of them, but uh, I was underconfident. Uh, yeah. It has only lost a Dark Adept, two skeletons and an archer. Again, level one undead. I don't think I've lost a level two unit so far this campaign, at least not one that is actually recallable. So that's good. All right, progress has been made. That's it for this video. And um, yeah, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this content. And see you again for scenario five. Or is it scenario six? I forget what we're up to. Six. Yeah, scenario six. Ciao, ciao.